Kathy. Well, family members, friends, and political leaders are remembering the nation's oldest World War II veteran. That's right. Richard Overton died in Austin yesterday afternoon at the age of 112. Channel 2 Sophia Ojeda joining us now from our newsroom with a look at how Overton is being honored. Sophia, good morning. Good morning, Andy and Rachel. Richard Overton shared his secret of living so long. He said it was not an apple a day that kept the doctor away, more like smoking cigars and drinking whiskey is what he liked. He touched so many lives, including Governor Greg Abbott and President Obama, and many folks at home watching had kind words to say about him too. I started smoking cigars when I was 18 years old, and I'm still smoking cigars. But I don't hate the smoke. I read my heart and everything is so perfect. Overton says that's his advice for living a long, healthy life. Always very independent in his golden years, Overton still drove his car. He still raked his lawn and he never stopped believing in his faith. I asked him to stay busy and talk to the Lord and live with the Lord. Don't live with the people, live with the Lord. Let him take care of you. Overton won the hearts of many, including our own governor, Greg Abbott. When Abbott learned of his passing, he tweeted this with a picture. One of my favorite moments at the governor's mansion was celebrating the 110th birthday of Richard Overton, the oldest World War II veteran. Today, we mourn the loss of this legendary American hero. May he rest in peace. And on our KPRC2 Facebook page, the story has gotten a lot of reactions, several hundred shares, more than a hundred comments, a lot of notes thanking him for his service and memes saluting the veteran. Like this one, Janelle Duggar said, I remember seeing the news clip by Lester Holt not too long ago, and I instantly respected and loved the gentleman. Rest in peace, Mr. Overton. You've reminded me of how good our world used to be. And Brent Nieves said, a shot of whiskey, and a smoke in his honor. Rest in peace, Mr. Overton. Overton was a corporal in the Army during World War II. He had been battling pneumonia the past few days. He died yesterday in Austin. He was 112 years old, the oldest living World War II veteran in the country. Andy? An American icon, and we thank him for his service to our country, Sophia.